Hello, hello, and welcome to the Creative Mindset Podcast. My name is Isolde Trachtenberg, and I am thrilled to welcome you. This show is about vision and tactics. We will discover practical techniques to develop your vision of your creativity. We'll also discuss techniques to find the mental and emotional space, as well as the inspiration to create. And then we'll explore what it takes to spread the word about your creation so you can live your best and most creative life. Today I want to talk about information overload. One of the reasons this podcast is no longer than five minutes every single day is because we don't have time, right? Who has time to sit around and read for huge chunks or listen to something for huge chunks or watch something for huge chunks of their day. Listening, podcasting works really well because you can multitask. You can be listening with one ear while you're washing the dishes or or taking care of other things that have to happen or while you're driving, for example. So it works really well. But I still think that it can be overload. You know, we live in a hyper-stimulated world and people who are creatives are especially sensitive to those forces of stimulation. And if you are particularly going out to try and find new information, how do you categorize? How do you keep your cool when all of this information is available? And most importantly, How do you figure out what information is the right information for you in the moment? There are a couple of things that I always rely on when I'm looking at new data, new information, new possible paths open before me. I check in with myself. I do an internal, does my stomach get butterflies? And what flavor of butterflies does it get? So if I'm facing... Do I want to spend my energy finishing my book or do I want to take this music gig, for example? Could be anything. I stop for a minute. I settle in. I breathe three deep breaths, just like inhale, exhale, inhale, exhale, that sort of thing. And I see in my mind's eye, going towards the writing path. And I check in with my gut. And do I feel a clenching in the pit of my stomach? Do I feel uh, a, a, an increased heart rate? Do I feel a little bit more excited or do I feel down about it? And then I let go of that with a couple of more cleansing breaths and I face the music gig. And I do the same thing with the inhale and the exhale to see How does my body change? What is my subconscious trying to tell me? Because that's really what's going on there. When you get those butterflies in your stomach, that's a fight or flight response. Let's call it what it is, right? It's the, it's the body shooting adrenaline into the system to get you ready to do something, whether or not you're going to stay and face whatever it is, or you're going to take off in another direction. That's what's happening when you get those butterflies. Just like when you're falling in love, you get the butterflies because it's a sense of, What's going on? It's a sense of uncertainty, and that uncertainty is still that fight-or-flight response. Are you going to stick to it and see where this goes, or are you going to need to go away and find something else? How is the other person going to react? What's going to happen? All of those things are part of that butterflies in your stomach, but it's a really great way, very quickly, of figuring out whether or not this is right for you. Another way to do it, and this is a really weird one, uh, is put your fingers together in an okay sign, so your thumb and your forefinger together, and put two other fingers in the little hole made between the two, your other thumb and your forefinger, and think about the one right way, and try and pull the two fingers apart. So think about writing a book. Try and pull the two fingers apart. Does it work? Does it come apart really easily? Or does it not? Then think about the other way and see which one pulls your fingers apart more easily. If your fingers pull apart easily, it's your body telling you it's not in as strong a position. You are not as strong as you could be in the other way. It's a really quick subconscious test that will allow you to 
figure out for yourself what is the best way to go. Because as we are overstimulated in every which way nowadays, we need to figure out what our truth is. And then we need to focus on that truth to live our best life. If you like what you're hearing, consider subscribing to the podcast and or head over to iTunes and leave a review. I'd really love it if you did that. Until next time, I send you all my love. Thanks so much for joining me today. I really appreciate you being here. Please subscribe to the podcast if you're new, and please tell your friends about the community we're building here. Today's episode was produced by Isolde Trachtenberg and is copyright Isolde Trachtenberg 2019. Today's music was from Kevin McLeod, Laser Groove, and Avi Marimba, brought to you by Creative Commons License 3.0. As always, please remember this is for educational and entertainment purposes only. Past performance does not guarantee future results, although we can always hope. Until next time, I send you all all of my love.